Welcome to this tutorial about how to use the model trainer for Daphne to create a new model of, based on your data. We are now seeing uh, an out of phase data set uh, from the Chaos Challenge. I will now show you how to prepare this data set so that it can then be used for the model trainer. Ideally, as you can see now, there are already uh, a few ROIs defined in this data set. Um, just for demonstration, we are going to define a new ROI in this, uh, uh, in this slice here. The best uh, way, in my opinion, to define a new ROI is to use the contour mode. So you can see you can click around the lever in a few points. And this is generally faster uh, to define a new ROIs than uh, uh, just go and uh, paint in mask mode. So as you can see now, this uh, lever ROI is defined for this um, for this lies. If I go back to mask mode, we see that uh, uh, in this case the lever well, we can maybe add a little bit here and uh, um, the uh, spleen and the kidneys are also segmented. These were already segmented in the original data set. So now um, let's imagine we have done it for all the slices. Um, I will uh, go and save this data set and uh, I save it in a special way. So I save it, I use save mask, save as NumPy and data and mask bundle. This is very important because then this is exactly the format that the model trainer expects. So um, I will save it. Uh, let's imagine I'm saving it. I've already stored a few data sets. Once you have done this for uh, approximately 20 data sets, this is a good time to start using the model trainer. So we can now close Daphne and uh, we can open the model trainer, which as you can see now I'm running it from uh, uh, the development environment, but you can have it uh, either through pip uh, when you install it or you can uh, download the pre-compiled binary. Very, very simply, here you have to choose the data location. In this case, you see there are already a number of data sets saved. Uh, these are all these um, out of phase data sets from uh, the chaos challenge for the segmentation of abdominal imaging and uh, uh, they're all out of phase uh, uh, images. I have already prepared them in the right format in this uh, data uh, bundle, which you can do directly from Daphne. So you can load the data and then uh, load the masks and then save as uh, data and mask bundle. So I will just click on the first one and then the data location is stored. And now I will just have to choose uh, a Daphne model, uh, model name, which will be abdominal 2023.model. In principle, this is it. Uh, as you can see, the interface is very simple. You have some advanced settings that you can click. And uh, these are uh, uh, for the selection of the complexity of the model. So the higher these values are, the more complex uh, the model is. Um, of course, uh, uh, you can uh, uh, play with it. Uh, you can see how it works. Uh, but uh, initial settings are usually uh, quite, uh, quite accurate for a general purpose model. The first thing we'll need to do is uh, to do the pre-process. So in principle, we can just uh, click pre-process and fit. And this will do both the pre-processing and the fitting of the model. The pre-processing is probably the part that takes longest uh, for this amount of data, which are, uh, I think, around um, 20 uh, data sets uh, uh, of uh, some 35 images each, it will take uh, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, but it can take up to two hours. So as soon as we click on pre-process and fit, uh, we see that uh, these um, uh, start working. Um, here, in my case, uh, uh, the um, uh, GPU is recognized, which is important, otherwise it will take too long. And now this is starting the normalization. 
um, this will uh, pre-prepare the data so that if you do subsequent fitting on the same data, uh, you will not have to rerun the pre-process. So you can immediately start the fitting once the data uh, are pre-processed. So this will take now a few minutes, as you can see, it takes uh, uh, some 30 seconds for each data set. Uh, so I will uh, uh, just fast forward now to the end uh, of this uh, normalization process and uh, we will see in a minute when it's finished what happens. Okay, now the uh, pre processing is done as you can see here the uh, also one validation set was set aside for normalization and uh, now the actual fitting is being performed so this is quite fast because there is not too much data to process and uh, uh, each epoch the first epoch takes a little bit longer but uh, then uh, it goes a little bit faster so during the fitting what we can see is uh, uh, the training loss in orange and the validation loss in uh, purple. So at the moment the validation loss is still infinite in the first uh, iterations this is normal and uh, this is uh, uh, the current output of the uh, of the model on one single slice. We can uh, select the slice that we want to see with this slider here but it will only change uh, uh, after every iteration. So now we will just uh, let it run for a while and uh, we will see whether it uh, converges. We are seeing that uh, uh, the validation loss is not infinite anymore and uh, in uh, our slice we also see that uh, uh, some ROIs are starting to appear more or less in the positions where we would expect them. So this is the kidney, this is the other kidney, the spleen, and the liver. So we don't have too much data at the moment uh, so the model will be far from perfect and uh, uh, but uh, still we're seeing that uh, it's somehow converging to some uh, to some ground truth. Um, the model will stop uh, training uh, when uh, uh, some criterion is met uh, basically when the validation loss uh, stops uh, uh, stop decreasing okay there is some spikes so this is normal sometimes it happens we will uh, keep monitoring the progress usually this part is relatively fast and it will uh, uh, take a few minutes The system has now determined that uh, the model is not going to improve anymore. Uh, so you see actually the validation loss was quite stable and uh, uh, according to some internal logic it decided to stop the training. The output is reasonably good and the model was saved uh, with, with this name. So uh, we could of course go back and uh, play with these parameters and try the fitting again but uh, uh, I will uh, uh, now demonstrate how to uh, load this model into Daphne. So we are now closing the model trainer. Basically this is done. This is our model and this is everything that the model needs. This abdominal 2023 model. So I'm now going to open Daphne again. And uh, here in Daphne you need to have the um, in the preferences the model location set to local or to mixed in the newer versions of Daphne so that you can have this file import model option available so in preferences here uh, this uh, model source uh, as you can see it's local or it can be mixed uh, if this was remote uh, then uh, you wouldn't have uh, the import model option so let's put it to local and now we can import the model uh, this was the abdominal 2023 model we give it a name so 
abdominal core. Uh, there should be no underscores in the name, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, but uh, yeah, you will still see it. The model is now imported successfully. And as you can see here, it's appearing in our list of models. So if we go and load uh, uh, the data uh, from, uh, example, one data set, now, this data set, of course, was already segmented. This was one one bundle, uh, but we can use the abdominal uh, coronal model that we just imported for uh, uh, for segmentation. So we can actually try segmenting these lies, and as we can see. Uh, the model is not perfect because, as I said, the data uh, were not uh, too, the data sets were not too big, but uh, it identified the liver, and uh, this should also be the spleen and the, uh, and the kidney. Although the kidney, as you can see, uh, it's very small and it was uh, roughly roughly estimated. But this is a, a good starting point with this uh, freely available data that was not super high quality and then uh, this model can either be used here locally or uh, uh, you can get in touch with me and uh, I can upload it uh, on uh, on the Daphne server for further use. This concludes uh, uh, our tutorial about the model trainer and thank you very much for watching and I hope you will try it and uh, you will enjoy this uh, new feature of Daphne.